Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So I've just upgraded my MacBook Pro to the new Catalina Mac OS. It just got released on October 7th to the public, so there's no beta version anymore. So you've probably seen all of the top features that come with this new OS. And one of the highlight features that I want to introduce to you in this video today is the sidecar feature that allows you to utilize your iPad as a second monitor to your MacBook Pro. Now, of course, with the new Mac OS update, it comes with a host of new features such as the iTunes is now dead. So that is split out into three different apps. You have Apple Music, Apple TV, and Apple Podcasts. So there's other variations to the existing apps like Notes, Reminders, Mail, lots of improvements, but I won't be covering all of those today, but I'll leave a link in the description below on where you can find out more information about what is updated. But today I'm gonna to focus purely on the capability of the iPad Pro as a second monitor using this sidecar feature. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys, to get started, you just open up your settings app and then you'll see an option called sidecar here. So you hit that and you get three options. So you can do show sidebar and choose whether you want to display the sidebar on the iPad on the left or the right. Then you can also show the touch bar on either the bottom or the top of the iPad. And if you wanted to double tap on the Apple Pencil for various different applications, then you can select that there. So to go ahead and connect from the drop down menu, you select your iPad and make sure both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And you'd also have to have a compatible iPad Pro and a MacBook Pro with Catalina and iOS 13 to do this. So as you can see, it set up directly straight away. And now this is the second monitor. So if I go back into settings, I can now update the displays. So if I go into arrangement, I can just double check that it's in the right location. So my mouse will go to the right. And if I scroll back, it's on the left. So that is fine. And now I am ready to go. For example, if you wanted to watch movies or you wanted to put up some documentation or have your emails or have a Skype messenger on the iPad, then you can have that separate as you would do in the office. You have two monitors. And then you can also drag applications to whatever you want to do. So if I wanted to drag this here, then I can have the app store there on the iPad. And then I'll have my internet browser here as well. So very straightforward. You got two monitors and you can use this for anything you like. Now a little bit about the sidebar here on the iPad. So you have a few options for the command control and the uh, option buttons here. You can also have shift. This is if you're going to use the iPad, maybe if you're using a sketching tool, you want to use the Apple Pencil. It's a quick way to access these buttons if you are don't want to keep switching between your main keyboard and the uh, iPad keyboard. Now, if for example, if you wanted to watch videos on the iPad Pro as a second monitor, you can do that as well. If you just make something full screen there, that becomes your sort of video display, then you can go back to doing work on your main MacBook. And as you can see, there's no lag. It's uh, playing very well. You can play through the headphones on either the iPad or the MacBook Pro, it's up to you. And if you wanted to add a external keyboard, you can actually control everything that happens on both screens using the external keyboard and you're not obliged to use the iPad keyboard, which generally you have to with the uh, iPad connected using the uh, default keyboard case that comes with it. Right, so if you wanted to use the iPad Pro to help you actually use the Apple Pencil for various different reasons, whether you want to use this to create filters or actually help you sketch something a little bit better on the screen rather than using your mouse, then the Apple Pencil will be perfect to do that. Now there's a whole host of applications you can buy that are specifically made for Sidecar. They're on the Mac App Store. Here's some sample ones you can use today. Now these are the ones that Apple recommend, but obviously there are a lot more. And in fact, you can use any application on the Mac App Store to be used by the uh, Sidecar uh, feature on the iPad Pro. But the ones that would utilize Apple Pencil Double Tap and all these kind of additional features that come with this, then there's some specific ones you'd have to get. But have a look at the list. I'll leave a link in the description below. So what I'm gonna show you an example today is the Adobe Photoshop application. Now I'm gonna move this over to the iPad Pro and I'm just gonna show you an example. So what I can do is I can just have this displayed here. And in fact, what I might do is actually mirror this just so I can see in a bigger screen what I'm drawing. So as you can see, now I'll be using the Apple Pencil. So if I select maybe a brush, hello, and then I can use 
gradient tool, maybe do some stuff here. Maybe get the brush, change the color. And then draw whatever you like. I'm just gonna scribble around quickly. Let me change the opacity on this. I have no idea what I'm drawing, but just to show you an example. It just makes it easier if you're an artist and you wanna use the Apple Pencil to utilize tools such as Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, or even use Lightroom, then you can do that. The second thing you can do is actually use the filters separately to the iPad Pro and the MacBook Pro. If you want to utilize certain windows, then you can do that separately. So let me go ahead and extend the display again. I will have Photoshop open on the main window here on my MacBook. And then what I'll do is I'll open some additional windows. So let's say I wanted to get some information on the color, or maybe a bit more information on the brushes, then I'll have the uh, brushes pane and the color pane here. So while I'm actually doing stuff on the main window on the MacBook Pro, I can easily just change the colors from here. And then I'll start drawing whatever I need to on the MacBook Pro, but alternatively you can swap this around. So you can use the filters on the MacBook Pro and your main drawing on the iPad Pro. So whichever you want to use the pencil for, then this will be great for you to do. All right guys, so hopefully that was a very useful demo for you. So one last thing before I finish off, when you do have Sidecar running, you have this little blue icon in the top menu bar. When you select that, you'll be able to choose the option of mirroring your screen or actually using it as a separate display. So there's a quick way for you to get connected using this. So if you wanted to hide the sidebar and the touch bar on the iPad Pro, you can quickly do that from here as well. So that's everything I wanted to show you about sidebar. It's a perfect option to have as a second monitor. It's the solution that everyone's been looking forward to for a very long time. There was third party apps such as Duet that was able to do something similar, but obviously it had a bit of complications with buffering speeds and connection problems and all this kind of stuff. So that's all pretty much resolved and I'm sure you're gonna like that. So if there's anything else you really want me to try with Sidecar or anything with the new macOS Catalina, then do let me know. Otherwise, I hope that review is very useful for you. I hope you like this video and I hope you subscribe and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.